Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here, in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactor. Well, and just to start off, I mean wow. 1.1k is a huge milestone for a person like me. So, I'd like to thank a lot of you for getting me here and waiting to see more of this content. I didn't expect for these videos to get as big as they did, but I seriously do appreciate the viewing and discussions I see in the comments. I still try to read every single one. Now, besides all this, I know I've also been gone for a while. My last video was 3 months ago, while the hype was still building on what I had introduced. I mainly have some good reasons for this, though it's not really that dramatic. Um, mainly, uh, I have real life relationships I have to take care of, and I'm also very busy with school. So, I don't exactly have the time for the internet anymore, as much as I used to. So with this, um, a lot of my times I can focus on things go to most of my personal life, not to mention I frequently work on side projects um, often, which take my focus away even further from my channel. I thought I'd let everyone know that I will continue to come out with content for you guys in the best way I can and make these videos meaningful with actual dedication. I really do appreciate all the love, but enough of this, let's get on to what I actually want to talk about. An ARG is an alternate reality game. This type of game usually relies on hidden messages via using many different media accounts to transmit secrets and puzzles, usually leading to an end reward or in general just you winning the game. To certain people, this game isn't really that fun if you can't put in the dedication, but for people who enjoy puzzles and challenges, it's right up their alley I would think. I'll give you an example of now an ARG you might have heard of. Petscop. Now. What is it if you haven't done much research? To describe it, Petscop is a very weird and what seems to be game with a PSX slash PS1 style graphics. Throughout the game, there are many glitches and the atmosphere becomes gloomier as time goes on. I say game with emphasis as Petscop isn't actually a game. Petscop itself is a heavily edited piece of media to be fairly versatile with its landscapes and video. You can find Petscop absolutely nowhere on the internet, and the mechanics of the game don't seem possible to function with how the narrator describes it while playing. But, because this isn't a Petscop analysis video, I'm gonna go back to the topic of ARGs in general. If you want something on Petscop, let me know, or just go to Pyrocynical's old videos on the ARG. Now, where does the topic of ARGs lead into our main discussion? Well, two channels currently exist. Classic GM Videos and Gmod 9 Fan Reuploads. Classic GM Videos is a channel that is still very active to this day, and Gmod 9 Fan Reuploads was last active a year ago. Its channel seems to be dormant with no more exterior links that follow up anywhere. Starting with Gmod 9 Fan, his videos are very interesting, but a bit confusing. Three years ago was his first upload, centered around the G-Man, a main story character in both Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2. In this video, it's mostly in a storyboard slash slideshow style, as often seen in many other older Gmod videos. The G-Man here is represented killing an unknown woman for not much reason at all. She is clued to a shovel and eventually set on fire, and then it is revealed behind G-Man there is a pile of corpses. What does this exactly mean? Well, a common reason across all the videos is we don't know. We have more information to how things ended than compared to why it happened. It's to be assumed that because of the charred bodies, everyone in City 17, the map we're currently in, met the same fate. In the description, Gmod 9 fan tells us re-uploading my old Gmod 9 fan videos circa 2006. This one I actually used to have a couple thousand views on my channel. Not as funny as I remembered it though. Sorry about the broken video. Currently, 
I want to first play the video for you guys, and then after that, assess the premise of the video in another section for us to analyze. The video I just showed you was the one I used in the beginning. I hope it didn't give anyone uh, too much of a scare. The next video, uploaded on October 8th, 2017, is called Rad Letter Day. The video consists of Half-Life 2 characters dancing to Bumfunk's MC Freestyler. Once again, G-Man appears at the end of the video, then cuts to black for a few seconds, before an ambient sound gets louder and a face appears again. Not too much of a reason as to what it means. In the description, Gmon 9 fan tells us, Re-uploading my old Gmon 9 fan vid circa 2006, this one takes me way back, you can even hear my parents arguing in the background. Due to the sinister nature of the first video, or maybe just a 2000s thing, it wouldn't be a surprise if the unnatural selection of violence was because of his upbringing in his home and Gmon would be an outlet for it. We make our way over to How to Make a Dumpster Trap in Gmon 9, uploaded on October 8th, 2017, the same day. Not much happens throughout the entire video until it reaches the end. If you notice near the end of the video, Gmon 9 fans suggest viewers to give the video a 5 star rating. This is because YouTube's old rating system was based solely on star ratings. Star ratings was introduced in 2005 and ended in 2009. Gmon was released in 2004. Gmon 9 fan also confirms they are 13 to 14 during the time of these recordings in the description. Also near the end we see this, a darkened figure moving at medium speed leaves the location of the warehouse. We are unaware as to what it is, as zooming in doesn't give us the best quality. The description states, Re-uploading my old Gmon 9 fan vid circa 2006, 13 year old me would like to apologize for any hearing loss caused by this one, likely cause of the loud dreamscape music. Moving on, Gmon 9 fan begins to upload a series of videos called junk footages. The first one we get to on the channel is called junk footage 1. This is the content of the video. Thank you. 
So, nothing really. Though, it's assumed because of the last video, Gmon Ninefin is respectively very scared of what he saw and went into the room of lights to confirm if it was real. As it turns out, he finds nothing. This specific room would be a key figure in the majority of these videos that we see. We move on to another video titled Junk Footage 2, a follow-up to its previous junk footage. Here's what we can see. The video ends as his screen becomes grainier and a humming ambient sound is heard in the background. The description is quite tame and doesn't tell us much. More bits and pieces, nothing like a good old fashioned NPC war, Gmon9 fan says. Moving on is another more sinister video with the title being How to Crash a Server Easy in Gmon9. Premise is a ragdoll from the Half-Life 2 beta models being crucified on a makeshift cross and then being set on fire with metal music in the back. The video abruptly ends after the ragdoll is set on fire. The audio played is a sound clip from the Ravenholm section of Half-Life 2. Gmon 9 fan tells us, don't even remember making this one lol in the comments. Because there's very few footage in the first place left on this channel, I find it odd out of all his videos he won't remember this one. This will be a common trend. The next video we see on this channel is uploaded the same day and a bit more comical, titled G-Man is Thirsty.
common issue I've noticed throughout the videos is that if you look real close, the footage will transform from pixely to more HD and seeable as the screen gets wider. Pay attention here. Why this is? Quite frankly, uh, I'm not sure. Whether it's an editing error, Gmo9 fan didn't notice, or something else. Regardless, we will continue. With these few videos, we near the end of this channel with a video called Junk Footage 3. The content is as follows. After dying, Gmon 9 fan runs over to the position he sees the NPC and then notices it disappeared. A face starts to appear and out of reasonable fear he quits the game for not knowing what to do. Keep in mind he is also 13, so this type of reaction is normal. The description is also very different here. Gmon 9 fan writes, re-uploading my old Gmon 9 fa- Stopping there. The next video is simply called, Done.
An odd muffled growling is heard near the inn, and he explodes the back room in the warehouse following what looks like his game crashing and a face appears. He revisits the room to find the ambient sound has stopped. Music starts to play as a wall opens. In the description, Gmon9fan writes, Were you uploading something circa 2006? I don't remember this one. I'm not sure I remember any of these, but I think I understand now. The channel is left dormant at this message, and the YouTube comments are mostly trying to figure out what happened to him. This is the end of his chapter. And so we shove Gmon9fan aside for another channel labeled Classic GM Videos. Although very similar to Gmon9fan, by starting off first with a G-Man character, I believe these are different people. And Gmon9 was just very limited in characters to use. The description of the channel reads, Archive my classic Gmon video. And the first video by this channel is labeled G-Man's Day Out in all lowercase. The footage follows. Notice a black figure in the background, pixelated, and the music distorts whenever the camera faces it. At the end of the video, it goes black, and we can hear an audio glitch. The description is cut short and simple, saying, Original description, G-Man on another adventure and to the store, what will he buy? One of my first animations, really embarrassing. This will be one of the many mysteries on this channel, as similar to G-Man 9 fan. The next video is him driving around in a jeep and killing zombies. The description reads, ZK2 underline 0001.wmv. Original description, Zombie Killer 2, Zombie Killer returns this time with Zombie Car. Second Zombie Killer video, first one had a broken file. It's assumed the first file was corrupted after a possible encounter with whatever we saw in G-Man's Day Out video. Similar to Gmon 9 fans' junk footages, this channel has a series of MISC recordings, or miscellaneous. This is the first one of the bunch. For a portion of the video, classic videos goes AFK. In doing so, we see this.
Notice a black figure appear and start to distort the quality of the footage. For the first time across all the videos we've been viewing, this figure starts to become more direct and apparent with the recordings. The shadow remains for the rest of the video and is unnoticed by classic videos. This is probably because back then, people did not have HD monitors. Computer screens showed less quality than modernly and were supposed to be made for Windows XP slash Vista era computers. The description is short, stating, Original description, NA, never uploaded, recorded footage that I never uploaded. The next video is the most viewed one on the channel, titled, GM Graveyard, Creepy Secret Room Tutorial. For a majority of the video, there is not a lot of audio with mostly dead silence besides his footsteps. His game pauses for a sec and then we see this. What appears to be some kind of figure standing in the fog is noticed and the footage is stopped there. To me, the figure standing in the fog looks like G-Man just without his briefcase and this will tie back to a theory I have later on that may be possible. The description reads, New Easter egg WMV. Original description. Here is a tutorial on how to get in the new secret room in the GM Graveyard map on GM9, a tutorial I made showing how to get into a secret room in a GM9 map. I don't remember playing this map very much, so I'm not sure why I found this because I can't find any other tutorials. The next video is called G-Man's Day Out, BTS Behind the Scenes. That would be cool with me, well, I'm still a dark lit place for your place or my place Well, I'm not paralyzed I seem to be struck by you I wanna make you move Because you're standing still If your body matches what your eyes can do You'll probably move right through Me on my way to you The video glitches out from what we assume is the figure we saw earlier. He blocks off the path to it and goes back to using a swept to fly around in the air via projectiling. The end of the video is him facing the warehouse section and the audio distorting. With our description reading, original description, NA never uploaded, looks like some footage I recorded while making G-Man's day out. Classic GM videos doesn't seem to make his descriptions as detailed as G-Man 9 fan did. At least, it seems less enthusiastic. 
Now onto the next piece of footage, it's another recording of the miscellaneous recording series, with this one being titled Miscellaneous Recording 2. If you noticed, if it isn't a bit obvious, this video is severely more lacking in quality and is significantly more pixelated than the other videos. If you are also a good listener, you'll notice that the mic is on at his computer. There hasn't been a recording like this one across either channel. You can hear what is assumed to be GM videos at his computer occasionally if you listen closely. Most of the other sounds are also assumed to be heard because he's using his speakers playing the loud audio at his computer, which is then relayed over the built-in mic. Exploring the map, GM Videos finds nothing. The description reads, Investigation Construct, WMV. Original description, NA, never uploaded. Recorded footage that I never uploaded. Exploring Construct, I guess. Looks like I messed up the audio. The next video is titled, G-Man Metal Band, with the premise of G-Man playing a metal song with Father Gregory, a character you encounter in Half-Life 2 during Ravenholm. Credited is Sizzy Meister Zero after the video ends, with the description reading G Metal 001.wmv. Original description G Man joins a metal band, uploaded for Sizzy. A video made by Sizzy back in the day that I uploaded for them because they didn't have an account of their own. Re uploading it here again, since it was on my channel before and would be lost if I didn't. Hope he doesn't mind. This Sizzy character is mentioned once again in future uploads, but right now, we have no clue as to who he is besides a childhood friend. The next video eventually turns into a series of similar recordings loosely based off the Saw movies.
In this series, G-Man and Dr. Kleiner seem to be rivals slash enemies. They engage in a game of tic-tac-toe. Kleiner ends up winning, and it seems that of whatever deal was proposed, G-Man is knocked unconscious. The next video is titled Zombie Killer. This is presumed to be the first installment of Zombie Killer 2, but was not previously uploaded. The footage is mostly glitched audio and video, there's not much of anything here to look at. The description reads, Zombies.avi, original description, the zombie killer protects GM construct. I already told you that this video is broken, so see it for yourself, please stop nagging me about it, I don't understand your obsession. This is what I assume to be a response to the YouTube comments he received before this. This video was uploaded on January 5th of 2020. The next video is labeled Pond Abyss, with classic videos accidentally launching a missile pod into the small pond and trying to receive it. Since the name, Pond Abyss, there never seems to be an actual end to the swimming. We hear at the end of the video footsteps and what seems to be him leaving the water, but the footage is stuck for the remainder of the video. An audio glitch gets louder during this. This audio glitch is actually the sound effect that plays when Source can't retrieve a file in the game which is supposed to be playing. In the description, he writes pondabyss.wmv. Description. Here's another one just in case you still don't believe me from the first one. Game crash at the end, it happens more and more often now, I don't know what to do, nothing fixes it. In the next couple of videos, the mood and atmosphere becomes a bit lighter as we venture down the Kleiner Challenge series and some of Gmod Video's own creations. We start on Kleiner's Challenge 2 trailer.
The description writes, KC2 Trailer New 2.WMV Description The long-awaited sequel. After G-Man fails his first challenge, Kleiner has a whole set of new challenges Will G-Man solve the mystery will he even get out alive? The video following this one is titled KC2 Trailer Broken. The premise is basically the same as the last video, except it's stated in the description that the video was broken by Movie Maker. Well, the premise is the same until the video pauses and we get a glimpse of him making the trailer. He keeps turning around until he walks into a room with a mysterious darkened figure, assumed to be the one we keep seeing across various footage. The next one is a pretty dark and grim concept titled, Breen Gets Pranked. The video itself seems to be a citizen poisoning Breen with what looks like a powdered down drug. The video plays out like this. Not exactly family friendly. Though the lore expands a little on this section of the channel, with classic GM videos making a new series called Bob and Bill. The person we see poison Breen is Bill, who coupled with Bob, they don't exactly get along. The episode plays out like this. Imagine me and you, I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right to think about the girl you love and hold her tight. So happy together. I should call you up, invest a dime, and you say you belong to me, it's my mind, imagine how the world could be, so very fine, so happy together.
Bill ends up getting stuck in a tree as we see, and Bob helps him down. The next video we see is GM videos telling us how to make a lift in GMON 9. Nothing really happens here. The description reads, lift.wmv. Description, how to make a lift in Gmon 9. After going through almost all of these videos, we near the most recent marks of this channel. The next thing we see is a video titled, Expedition Attempts. This video features GM videos putting a camera into the water, failing, and then using a missile pod with a camera attached to go into the water. The prop is then teleported, and GM videos loses control of it. He sends a jeep into the water next of a camera. Then after falling into the water himself, the game crashes. The description reads, Expedition Attempts.WMV Description, probably a bad idea. I'm not sure what you expect for me to find. Here, I am assuming the props and vehicle were teleported to the warehouse section, saying that's the only dark part of the map. With Expedition 2, this was his last video of the Expedition series.
Watching it, it's about the same concept, except with diving into the water himself. We see his fizz gun disappears at around 30 seconds and water splashing. Classic GM videos is then teleported into a black room with no light. He runs until he quits his game after what looks like shaking, either from his hand or something that was forcing him. The description states, Expedition 2.WMV Description The man you sent worked but couldn't see anything anyway. Now that you've seen what happens, can we stop? Notice the use of the word we. Later in the video, this will later reveal a little more on who this we is. This video is called Half-Life 2 Nova Prospect Weird Slash Creepy Hidden Area in which GM Videos uses props to find his way into a vent to discover a radio, though he is stuck and cannot get out. Description. This is near the place where you fight the combines in the room with the washing machine. Really weird slash creepy hidden area that's hard to get to. For this comment section, i like to take note of one comment. I wasn't noticing this until I actually started editing the video. A comment from mm me says, The description's upload rule changed from old GM with description to all old. Not that interesting, but a neat detail. I wonder why it changed. Perhaps this isn't a Gmon 9 video. Edit. It isn't Gmon 9. If you look in the description, you'll see that it says Path, F, Archive, Backups, Older, Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Weird, .wmv. This is most likely saying where the video was stored, and of course, it's stored in the folder Half-Life 2. So this is from Half-Life 2, not Gmon 9. Obviously, this room doesn't exist in the level, just how or why it exists, I'm not sure. He then notes how cool the gravity gun jump was, and nothing much after. I also forgot to let you guys know about the auto-uploads in the video. If you look at this person's channel when the video is uploaded, you'll see that all the way up to Pond Abyss, everything was manually uploaded. You can tell when a video is manually uploaded as it won't have a pathing. Up until the Pond Abyss video, every single one is typed manually without a pathing description. After, the pathing show up, which tells you it was auto-uploaded by YouTube. After this video, Episode 2 of Bob and Bill is released by GM Videos, which is called Lunch. This is the content. Imagine me and you, I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right to think about the girl you love and hold her tight. So happy together. If I should call you up, invest a dime. And you say you belong to me Lose my mind Imagine how the world could be So very fine So happy together Thank
At 125, the video glitches in which we see a figure to the right hidden by the error. While leaving the building after collecting rations, this ties into the first footage we saw of Brain Gets Pranked. If you remember the contents, Brain Gets Pranked consisted of now identified Bill who pours some of the poison into his drink while Bob is not around. With this follow up, Bob does some sweet karate moves and saves Bill. Description: Bob and Bill's lunch time doesn't always go as planned. One last episode is released titled Bob and Bill Minis 1 Police, Episode 1B. This is the last we see of the series and near end of the channel. This is the content of the mini episode. Besides the glitches, we can't really do anything to analyze what happens. Instead of a mini episode, this is more of a behind the scenes. Description: A new series of shorter episodes showing the life of characters around Bob and Bill who are affected by their antics in each episode. Bob and Bill stops after this, but we come back to something more familiar, which is a video titled Half-Life 2 Creepy Nova Prospect Easter Egg Update, a sequel to the previous Easter Egg video. But GM videos does something different this time.
After being able to jump out, he brings the radio to this section of the map. The message relays, Description, even creepier than before. Credit to Sizzy Meister Zero for figuring out what to do. If you take notice, Sizzy Meister is the exact same person credited in the G-Man Rock Band video, meaning these two were close and had a connection as friends who talked regularly. Searching up the username will not get you anywhere besides a YouTube channel, which was made after the Nova Prospect video. This channel is a fake and was created by a fan to grab attention from people who aren't that perceptive. The next video is called POS. POS is a coordinate system used to teleport the player using an X, Y, and Z location inside Source. You'll see GM videos bring up the console to enable cheats. Pay attention to what he types. He is then teleported to the dark warehouse section, where it is closed and he becomes trapped. He quits the game. Below GM videos tells us, description, probably right. It doesn't make much sense, and what is probably right isn't clarified. The next video is when things come to a halt. This is his last video. Half-Life 2, cool sad area.
if you pay attention during recording, the corpses found here are almost the exact same models for Bill and Bob. Well, not all of them. In the video, as stated, there is only one corpse left here, the other turned into a zombie. Also fabricated is that the two corpses left here represent GM Videos and Sizzy, who might have passed on. Seeing Sizzy is never confirmed alive or dead, it gives many possibilities to assume what happened. Sizzy is brought up twice during these recordings, but classic GM Videos never seems to elaborate much. To me, it could be that what GM Videos sees in these two corpses is what used to be that of a friendship between a duo. As we see in Bob and Bill, Bob seems to be always the one dealing with Bill's pranks and attitude. If GM Videos looked up to Sizzy as an older brother, it would be possible he sees Bob as something he wish he had back and currently can't cope with. Throughout the series, there's always been a note of violence. The first stage of grief is denial, the second anger, third depression, fourth bargaining, fifth acceptance. To me, I think some of these videos, or mostly all of them uploaded, assuming GM Videos' is age now, shows that he has arrived at acceptance to deal with what happened. We can see all stages of grief throughout his videos. Trying to pinpoint what has happened, there's lots to go off and assume. Visiting back to GM9 fan and GM videos, I like to think these two are also connected. If you watch the GM Graveyard Creepy Secret Room tutorial, you'll notice that the outline of the figure we see is that of what looks like G-Man. This figure is also in a tunnel. The last video we see of GM9 fan is him traveling down a tunnel after what seems like an entrance opening. This also makes for an interesting discussion that opening that entrance may be leaked Gmon 9 fans' errors into GM videos, or rather, opening that entrance did reanimate something from the dead, but that would be a bit cheesy. It's an interesting story point for an ARG, but sometimes it can be overdone. Still, a lot of people aren't too sure what this is supposed to mean. Most of the clues are solved by the creator himself in the videos, and it doesn't add much reasoning throughout except just to be scary. Though, the main plot of the three theories to me is that either A, Sizzy was reanimated into his game after death, Gmon 9 fan somehow traveled into GM Video's game and with that brought his errors, or some random person is haunting his game and it's really scary, I guess. Um, the top two are the most reasonable answers here, but to decide which is the legit one, I don't know. Both of these videos seem very much to an extent related, just with no direct confirmation. From Gmon 9 fan again, I don't remember this one, I'm not sure I remember any of these, but I think I understand now. To me, the theory that Gmon 9 fan and GM videos clashed could be a very big lead. But again, really, I don't know. Because the channel is still pushing out videos, I don't know how logical it is to say that they stopped. Realistically, there could be a whole bunch of videos still queued up to release, and the story might unveil further. But right now, I don't have access to that type of information, and I won't know till it comes out. I would appreciate a majority of you guys checking out that channel and making your own theories on what's happening and maybe trying to figure out the story behind this. As far as I know, there's been very small communities following this channel around, but there's never been a really big push to it, I should say. So really, if you have any friends who are interested in Gmod theories or in, you know, creepy stuff in Gmod in general, show them this channel or show them the two channels, ask them what they think of it, Maybe just engage in a conversation about it. Um, really, I think this would be really interesting for it to be figured out. Because I know people have been trying for a little while now and no answers really come out. There's things that seem possible, but there's no confirmation. So, but really, I do appreciate you guys watching my videos and sticking through. Um, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, as I said, but I'm going to try to keep pushing out stuff that's interesting to you guys. So... Keep a discussion in the comments, you know, like the video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. Um, and seriously, again, thank you for watching this very long video. Um, this is probably a video that I've put maybe like five days of work into, six days of work into, non-stop. So every day, just constantly putting editing into this. Um, but yeah, with this, I'm out and I appreciate you guys a lot. And please have a safe day.